unto him. Thank you, Jesus, the great way maker. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The one who has given the promise, call unto me and I will answer. Thank you for the many answers we have enjoyed from you. Thank you, Jesus. Another day is here for you to demonstrate for us. The sweetness of your quick intervention. Thank you. We know that with you around, everything must go well. Thank you, Jesus. The one who possesses a name that is complete. Thank you, Jesus. The one who has coordinated all things to ensure that they all come to a accept that is the creator of the ends of the earth can we wave our hands unto him with a voiceless thanksgiving to say we appreciate him the living the living the living the living shall praise the lord a dynamic name jesus a great name jesus an able name jesus powerful name jesus Purposeful name Jesus. Final name Jesus. Full name Jesus. Thank you for your shining intervention. Glory be to your holy name. Daddy, please accept us today. Greater than our stretch of imagination. Help and hold and inspire us deliberately. Mark our mouth. Anoint our spirit. Move in our direction as wind blows. Move in our story. Blow in our matters. And by the time we look back after this season of prayer, I pray there will be danceable testimony therein. Glory be to the name of our God. Sweet hours of prayer, I pray you will pour sweetness on our effort. Sweet hour of prayer, I pray you pour sweetness upon our everything that has to do with us. Amen. When we are done here today, we will have the sweetness that heaven has prepared for us. Amen. In Jesus' sweetness name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we put our hands together to thank the Lord for who he is, for what he is, for what he's representing. Glory be to the name of our God. Amen and amen. God bless you for coming this day and for those online, wherever you are, you are not missing God at all. God will be right on your story and God will be good on your matter. Thank you for being so regular with God. No regret on your matter. Can you say it loud and clear that no regret on my story? Say it loud and clear. My testimony will come out great. God bless you for that confession. Amen. Can you pick up your scriptures and let's read eight verses of scriptures on rapid succession. Psalm 124. Don't forget today, we are considering, consider God. What, what a pointed statement. Loaded so much that we cannot be stranded. Psalm 100 and 24 eight verses rapid successions and then we are done after which i'm sure you will have something behind your love that will be singing special number are we there already psalm 124 1 to 8 1 2 3 go if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters have gone over our soul. 
Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snares of the fowlers. And the snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and the earth. May the Lord bless all our voices for that reading in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Too many flow from that eight verses of the Bible. Who was on your side? The Lord. You are going to say, Lord, thank you for being at my side. Honestly speaking, drop all argument and see your story. Why not God? Huh? By your side, sir. They gave you flat tire at the point of your arrival in life. But the Lord says, don't worry. They deflated your tire, I will give you new ones. God has been by your side. Can you say, daddy, thank you, sir. Whatever makes you to be at my side, I thank you. No argument is just flow in praise. Don't punctuate your praise. Say to God, thank you. When you are at a critical time at the hospital, who was on your side? When mistakes of man would have sent you to the great beyond? Yes. When you are at the hospital ready to deliver your baby and everything seems to go wrong, who was on your side? At the center of the express road. Where you thought everything should go straight. Suddenly another vehicle crosses your path. In a split second. Why not God at your side? You will have been quiet. In the graveyard alone. But God was on your side. Sir, can you say thank you, Lord? You are my story. You are my story. When the devil wanted to cover you with shame, Almighty came in his almightiness and said, I will not allow that shame to stick. I will turn your tide. I will change your story. You remember years ago? Those who have sharp razor on their tongue. They said, what will you become? Because they summarize all your running around. They cannot see what will become a great giant. But the law was by your side. Why those people are still alive? You are shining like a star. Madam, don't be an ingrate. Thank God for God being your side. Look at how many deaths that you find yourself even though there was no reason for it. Why that? It was an orchestrated design to, to make you to run away and run mad. But God was by your side. He just opened road where none exists. There's a flow of mercy and favor. Sir, can you flow in your praise? Thank you for my home. To have a family is a privilege. Can you thank God for your family? Yes. To wake up in the morning to know where to go is a privilege. Can you thank the Lord for that? Yes. The Lord is good. For you to remember God at this season of life. It can only be God at your side. <laughs> thank God, sir. Let us thank God for the nation of your dwelling. Thank God for the nation of your birth. Too many things will have gone wrong perpetually. But God, but God, 
But God, but God, why you not for God on my side? Everything around me would have been silenced forever. But God is a voice. He raised up a voice for you. This is our story. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Say it loud and clear. Let every Israel say, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you, God, thank you. Let Israel say, is there any Israel anywhere around? Israel in choice, Israel by anointing, Israel by name. Let Israel say, God, thank you, God, thank you. The fool has said, there is no God. Let's say thank you to God. Thank you, God, for strategic supply. Strategic supply over your matter. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are great. Let Israel say something. Every Israel of God, open your mouth and say, Daddy, thank you. There's a time to meditate. There's a time to speak forth. Thank you, Daddy, for my children. Thank you, Daddy, for my journey. You travel several kilometers and you come back bouncing like a Wembley ball. Every day, your story is coming out good. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. 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 Thank you. In Jesus' loving name, we have prayed. Ah, you are going to thank God that he has not supplied you for wrong things. He said, the word blessed in verse 6 means makarios. What does makarios mean? Happiness, excitement. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who has not given? He didn't supply. He didn't connect. He did kaija If God has connected with the wrong people, you will have expired forever. But the Lord, the Lord did not give you. He didn't connect you with someone who caused you to expire. Is it not worthy of praise? He said, Macarius, joy unto the Lord. Can you say, Lord, receive my praise? From the east of my life to the west of my life to the north of my life and the south of my life and the middle belt of my life, receive my praise. If God has connected you, he has allowed you to connect yourself with the wrong person, you will have been finished forever. But the Lord is good. The Lord did not connect you. He said, blessed, makarios, happiness, yes, bless, fulfillment, glory unto the Lord who has not connected me with what will cause me final aspiration. Thank God, sir. You are still going to have a lot of choices in life, but can you thank the Lord that the Lord did not connect you? You will not expire. I assure you, you will not expire. He who has called you knows you. Everything the devil is pushing in your direction is to make you to go into oblivion so that nobody remember you forever. But blessed be God. The people you call to come and help you to blow fire, those who have put water in their mouth, yet your fire is still rising higher. Can you say, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you thanks. I give you adoration. Flashback in time. Look at the quality of your choices. 20 years ago. 30 years ago. Does it look like it? But the Lord in his goodness is making you to bounce back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who did not allow me to be connected? So many things wanted to connect themselves with you, but the Lord did not allow. Sometimes you want to connect yourself with what will burn you off, but the Lord did not allow. Can you say, Lord, 
please accept my thanks from the east of my life to the west of my life to the north of my life to the south of my life thank you lord thank you lord thank you for the supply of wisdom supply of grace hallelujah thank you forever in jesus faithful name we have prayed look at verse 2 it says when men rose up against us i don't know whether you have seen what they call wrath of man before just flash back in the history of your life wrath of what they will make coordinated link to ensure that they get that person off uh, you are going to pray in the name of the lord every evil i see for the rest of this year against my life you will never amount to anything is that clear enough are you ready to offer that prayer he said when men rise up what make them to rise up it is what is seated in them so evil rising uprising against my progress for the rest of this year you will not amount to anything he said they will rise they will come but it's not by me whoever rises up for your sake will fall for your sake isaiah the prophet brought it out clearly every rising every stimulant yes that may rise up to to, to wicked me you will not succeed are you talking are you saying anything say something sir he who hears something should say something he who hears something should say something that in the name of the lord yes whatever is rising up whatever that is planning to rise to, to wicked me for the rest of this year flat tire for all of you i hope you are not closing your mouth whatever you want to rise up against the success of this nation flat tire whatever you want to rise up against your business enterprise flat tire can you prophesy it yes Morokopo, Marakapalaba Pori Baboseria. Are you praying, brother? Are you praying, sister? This time is a sacred time. Sacred time for sacred people. Sacred people achieve sacred result. If you are not sacred, you are weak. If you are weak, the devil take advantage of you. Can you open your mouth and pray? No evil uprising that will rise up against me either in the day or in the night in the morning or in the night in the name of the lord no evil rising no evil rising if you need the day to me yes can you open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus you have no reason for you to be distracted there's no television you are watching apart from you hearing and talking the hand of the lord will be by you if you have never seen the wrath of wicked people you can take anything in a levity but when men organize rebellion against you it is that time you will know how wicked human being can be suppress them before they rise in the name of jesus christ every evil uprising yes you will not come through in the name of jesus christ yes thank you father thank you son thank you holy spirit glory be to god in jesus massive name we have prayed look at another one verse five proud waters proud what is it in your bible some people are naturally proud now some pride are even justifiable because of some things he's able to pack together. But some, even in the midst of backwardness, even in the midst of nothing working, you will still see that cocky spirit. He says in there, proud waters. Proud what? Water. Waters. If they ask you, where is proud water? I don't know. 
But if the Bible says proud water exists, you are going to prophesy against every proud waters. You know, some people, they can't bear it. That somebody is having promotion by their side. Bah! They cannot stand it. That somebody is having breakthrough. Bitterness will rise up in their soul. They will want to manipulate and whatever. You dare not share the testimony of that you bought a new house, bought a new car, or now. Ah, do you know that spiritual gift in my life has increased? Immediately jealousy will rise up. Proud waters. You are going to prophesy. Whatever that is called proud waters. On the pathway of my family, I command you to go down. Whatever that is called proud waters. In the story of my business, go down. Whatever that is called proud waters. In my journey in life, go down. Open your mouth and prophesy against all proud waters. Lara, proud water can make your boat to capsize. Jesus was there on the, on the top of the sea. While he was resting, there was a proud water. The disciples were confused. They do not know what to do with the proud waters. And they cried unto the Lord. Instead of prophesying to the proud waters, they said, Jesus, are you sleeping? You want us to perish? And Jesus rose up and he addressed the proud waters. Every proud waters on my way that want to capsize my life, let them go down. Proud waters that want to block my helper from reaching out to me, go down. Are you opening your mouth? Be sure you are praying. Proud waters. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Maybe I need to use easy to be understood language. Sometimes if you don't know, these things wreck people. The boat of your breakthrough will be coming on top of the sea. And suddenly, there will be a storm. And before you know what's happening, instead of the ship to bath by the harbor where you are waiting, storm takes you to another far away place. And there is no way you can link up with that. That is proud water. Now, yesterday, I was there in counseling room. Somebody came in and was talking. He said, good to see you, sir. And no, glory to God. He said, my biggest challenge was that I gave one million as a tithe ah, in our church. I said, eh, what's the name of your church? He mentioned, because that was the first time we were meeting. I said, it's all right. You gave one million. Okay? And I was listening to him. When he finished all the story, and I asked him a question. I said, um, where do you think your problem is starting from? He says from that, that area. I say, all right. That at other time, he has business that run into something, something million. I say, glory be to God. He was just talking and talking. By the time he finished all the stories, he wanted to package a story before somebody he believed does not have exposure. But I looked at him. I said, sir, has it occurred to you that you have never gotten where the root of your problem is? He said, that was the root. I said, all right. Um, where is your wife? Ah. He said, that's a big question you are asking. No? He said, the wife, long story. The children call. So you are the only one now? I said, yes, okay. Is it from that same tight that the problem came? He even mentioned, he said, the only person he believed in is their general overseer. Any other person is nobody. <laughs> I kept quiet. I was still looking. But by the time we were done, he said, hey, sir, I think I have a fundamental program that I don't know about myself. I said, you said it. He said, pastor, let me also tell you so that you can be able to know that I have problem. Even the governor of AYZ, 
who normally helped me and all that, suddenly just came one day and sacked me. I said, was it as a result of the tithe to pay to God? Ah, he said, no. Ah, it's not that one. So he was only using that one to cajole. You are going to lay your hand upon your heart. That whatever is out to pollute your vision. Whatever is out to snatch my progress. You will not succeed on my life. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? That nothing will succeed. To snatch away your progress. To snatch away your joy. To snatch away whatever it is that God has given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you lay your hand upon yourself and pray that your progress will not be snatched away. Your joy will not be snatched away. Your family will not be snatched away. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever it is that the devil wants to use to snatch away my progress. Let them expire. In the name of Jesus. Let them expire. Maraka polimamo sete. Le sete yebo kakorimamo seria. Raka pali babo senta yama pori baba saria. He raka pali baba setia. Thank you, Father. Glory to God forever. In Jesus' name, we pray. Are you ready to prophesy escape for yourself? You ready? That escape is possible. Either from physical or metaphysical prison. Because he says, in verse 7, our soul is what? <laughs> The only thing you are sure of is your own prayer. Somebody got married to a woman whom he didn't know where she came from. Life story. And that one told the man after they got married, we will to the answer, marriage time, bagger. And that one said, well, I want to be going now because I have scanned your family. And I discovered that men die young. Ah. How did you know this? Say, if you mention me, I'm going to another church to go and become a member. So I can see those who have stars. He said, it was your star that attracted me to marry you. That one was shaking like this. So when that one came, say, Pastor, if I talk, will, I, will this woman not kill me? I carried the Lord and left. I said, number one, where did you meet each other? I, said, I don't know. She only told me that she saw me somewhere inside the water. I don't know how can human beings stay inside the water and see somebody in Lagos State. And now, <laughs> the next thing that happened was that wuru, 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 they, became, they got married. And then, that marriage, they didn't allow people to know they were just there. And then at the end of the day, that one just said, sorry. I'm done with the family. I've completed comprehensive search over your family that men don't stay long before they die. Therefore, bye-bye. If you mention to anybody, you are saying you follow all those other people who have died in your lineage. That one carried the load and left. You are going to pray against evil intervention. Evil what? Intervention. Evil what? It will never happen in my story. What He said that you thought to do me evil, but the Lord do what? He turn it for good. That whatever evil that want to intervene in my story, the Lord converts you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to first of all pray that one before you pray the story of escape. That in the name of Jesus, whatever want to make evil to step into my story, it will not happen. Open your mouth and pray that one first. It will not happen. If it has entered, the Lord convert you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord convert you. Every evil that may have entered into my effort, the Lord convert you. You thought to do me evil, the Lord meant it for good. To the glory of God the Father. Yes. Morocco, Paseta. Rampantayama porimama sata. Glory to God. Prayer time. Open your mouth. Prayer time. Be committed to God. Prayer time is your sacred time.
your full time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now we come in now to the original one. Our soul is what? You are going to prophesy upon your soul. To, to, to escape. Of all form of prisons. I had prayed for somebody. Life story. Who after the prayers. He looked at himself. He said, ah, is this how my body look like? This is secondary school uh, boy. He has never seen his body before. Life story. Ah, the mother was shaking like this. What type of thing is this? So, is this how I look like? Where was he? Question mark. Bam. So, you are going to pray. My soul. Escape. Either from physical or supernatural prison. Escape. Open your mouth and prophesy upon your soul. Upon the soul of your business. Upon the soul of your ministry. Let your soul escape. Our soul is escape. As a board. In the name of Jesus Christ. Escape. My money. Escape. Yes. My understanding. Escape. Escape from prison. Are you praying? Yes. Escape from prison. Prison of witches and wizards. Prison of occultism. Yes. Escape. Escape from manipulation of the satanist. Morocco polymamoseria. Progress of my life. Escape. Jadewa. Kron inu igbeku. Maraka palibaba satan. Escape. In the name of Jesus, my blood escaped from the prison of the wicked. Are you praying? Your project, let my project escape from satanic manipulation. My ministry escape from the prison of the devil. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Ma setan de yama pori babo seria. Rekete sete yebo kapori babo seria. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Be seated to offer this. Luke 1. I counsel you to learn to participate in strong prayers because you may not know what is working against you. But if you know prayer is the only hope you have, don't allow any deviation away from it. Focus on what matter and what matter will stay with you. In Luke chapter 1 from verse 24. I want you to follow as I read. Luke 1 24. And after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived. And hid herself. Five months. She hid herself. How many months? Five months. Thus says the Lord. Thus as the Lord dealt with me in those days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach from among men. To take away my reproach from where? Among men. Meaning that there are some people who have shop that the only thing they market is reproach. That's what their warehouse produces. But the Lord just take what belongs to me away from such reproach. Tongue wagging. Is a reproach. Verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from where? From God. Unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and all the story and all and all and all. 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, hey! You are favor. Hey! You are favor. The 
Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled and said, At his saying, and cast her mind at what manner of salvation is this. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found what? Favor. You have found what? Favor. Where did she find the favor? Hey! Was he in her house? No. <laughs> Where is the geography of our finding the favor? God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Verse 32. And he shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom shall be Without no end. Where you are seated, you are going to pray. Number one, that the Lord will take your reproach away from among men. Don't tell me there is no reproach. Don't tell me. If you look keenly, you will see it. But the Lord is a, an expert. Lord, the same way you help Elizabeth. There were two women identified there. Yes or no? Two women. One, Elizabeth. The other one, who? Mary. Ah. Uh -huh. You are going to pray. Lord, what, wherever my reproach is, go to it, my God. Help me to take it away from the shop of men. Mouth of some people is their shop. They have kept reproach the other. Whenever they mention you, that reproach come up. Take it away, oh God. Lord. Take it away. My reproach. Take it away from among men. Are you praying? Until God take away the reproach. Many things will be dragging. Lord help me. Take away my reproach. It's a reproach for a believer not to know how to pray. It's a reproach for a believer to still be doubting the capacity of God. Take away my reproach. Oh Lord. He will do it. He will do it. Thank you Father. In Jesus. Massive name. We have prayed. In six months. The angel Gabriel was sent from God. Angel. From God. If I ask you have you ever seen an angel before? Your possible answer may be no. Although some people will have yes as an answer. But you are going to pray that God will send special angel to deliver great news unto you. Amen. Special what? Amen. Special what? Amen. See, how does the angel look like? That's not your problem. What type of vehicle will he enter? It's not your problem. Will that angel have feather? You don't need whether feather or no feather. What you need is the message. Abby? So you are going to, Lord, Today, send your special angel to deliver greatest news to my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, oh God, send your special angel. Can you open your mouth and pray? Special angel Gabriel was sent on the be on to, to go and deliver wonderful message to a particular a particular woman, Raseta, in Lagos State. Lord, send an angel. Mention the name of your country. What, your country of your residence. Wherever you are watching me from. In the name of Jesus. Send your angel. The Lord can send angel in an human form. He will do it. Whatever ye ask when ye pray. Believing ye shall have it. Send your special angel. On my matter. Lord. Send it. In the name of the Lord. Angel of favor. Angel of favor. He doesn't say you are favored. No. He said you are highly favored. Highly favored. Lord, this is the time I need a high testimony. Not just a testimony. High testimony. Lord, bless me among men. Bless me among men. He said you are blessed. Among men, among women. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? 
I must not be an accursed people among men. I must be blessed. Blessings of God must radiate on my life. Bless me among men. Are you praying? Bless me among mankind. Do not allow my matter to rot. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do not allow my matter to stink before people. Do something. I hope you are praying. He will do it. I believe God for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. When that angel, after greeting, he now announced the arrival of revival. Arrival of what? Arrival of what? Revival. He said that revival that is arriving is called Jesus. After announcing that arrival, he now started details of that miracle. He shall be great. He will have throne. He started mentioning and mentioning, meaning that God can package somebody from the realm of the spirit. Where is your throne? This is where I'm going. Where is your throne? Where is your greatness? Where is your throne? Where is your greatness? And you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever God has given me on my way down to the world and it has been hijacked, come back to me today. Are you ready for that prayer? The reason why some people are still somersaulting on the same spot is because the throne that God gave to them Somebody with an astral projection tampered with them, took it away from them, and now in the world they are turning around. Somebody was telling me the other time, he said, Pastor, I don't know my story anymore. I make every effort, opportunity comes in, but did something give me flat tire. That will no longer be your story. Amen. So where you are, you are going to pray in the name of Jesus. My greatness, my greatness. show up. Show up. My, throne. my throne, show up. You may say, I don't come from a, the, the, the royal family. It's not about royal family we are talking. God may create you a superstar. Yes, that is your throne. Your own may be ministry. That is your throne. Your, your own may be to raise God-fearing generation. That is your throne. So you are going to pray, come back and manifest. Every throne that belongs to me, in the name of Jesus, come back to me and manifest. Can you begin to pray? Just pray wherever you are. My throne. Yes. Throne that belongs to me. Manifest. Yes. Come back to me. Manifest. Farahan. Marakapoli Babo City. Rekete City. Rokopoli Mamoshida. Yes. Tessin Tayabasa. Rokopoli Mamo City. Reseta Boka Korama Shiva. Tessete Yeboka Koraba Shiva. Tessicantoramasida Raka polima moseria. Call your throne back. Let them manifest. Yes. Whatever the Lord has ordained for your life. Mosindayama polima moseria. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Forever and ever. Mosindayama polima moseria. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' fulfilling name. We have prayed. Amen. I want to read this other Bible passage in Isaiah chapter 37. Isaiah chapter 37. I'm going to read from verse 10. Thus shall you speak in Isaiah chapter 37 verse 10 to Ezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not your God in whom you trust deceive you. 
Is there any deception in God? Is there any deception in God? But somebody was bold to send a message to God's servant. And what he said was that there is a deceit in God. Say, Jerusalem shall not be given unto the hand of King of Assyria. He said, no God. He looked at his credentials and he announced the outcome by himself. I don't know whether there's anyone who's under terrible oppression here, hearing me or somewhere online, that you have been sent with an insultive message. He said, he now continued to put all this record together. Behold, you have heard what the king of Assyria have done to all lands by destroying them utterly. And thou, and shall thou be delivered if he has conquered all land. Tell me, what gives you the confidence you are going to be free from my domination? He now continue. As the God of the nation delivered them, which my father have destroyed, and he started to mention Gusan, and Aran, and Reseth, and the children of Eden, which were in Teresa, or Telsa, <laughs> where is the king of um, what? Amath, and the king of Apat, and the king of the city of what? Separavim, Hena, and Ivla. My brother, if somebody start to count the history of his winning formula, <laughs> and you are there sitting with the Bible that uh, the cover is almost removed, <laughs> what will you do? Fear will grab you. And Ezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, and he read it. I don't know whether anybody has read his own letter. Letter from the haters of your progress. They wrote you letter. By what you are seeing clearly. He read it. And Ezekiah went up to the house of the Lord. And did what? He spread it. Where you are seated. You are going to pray to God Almighty. That the Lord will rise up. Those who are ready to fight me and you together. Because here, king of Assyria was ready to fight Ezekiah and Elohim together and said, go to the book of record, Guinness book of record, hand it that I am brilliant, I am smart, I win every war, whatever I lay my hand upon turns gold. Oh my expire. Oh my shekini is going to expire before the expiry date. If you want to know how he was forced to early retirement, early expire date, just read the whole chapter. God told his man, calm down. I will prove to him, unless he's not breathing my air. If he does, he must expire. You will not waste your single bullet, but you are going to win the battle against the one who has credentials. God withdrew all those credentials. He was still carrying paper around. When God is ready to fight for you, you, you yourself will be begging God, say, God, he don't do. He don't do. That one where he don't punish, he don't do. He don't do. That was exactly what happened to Zenakerub, king of Assyria? So you are going to pray. I don't know what want to fight you and your God together. What is ready to fight you and your business together? What is ready to fight you and your ministry together? What is ready to fight you and your helpers together? You are going to pray to God. Lord, take over. Take over this battle. Take over this battle. Oluwagba 
ja 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 fun mi o olorun ja fun mi ja 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 fun mi o are you opening your mouth to say the lord to take over the battle that has refused to go down after effort of many years tell god to fight for you sir he will fight he will fight for you ezekiah was a smart one he knew he does he is not a match to that raging king but he know what was the match of that king god is a match to him and he pushed it over unto god and god gave him a backhand he fell flat shame covered him so you are going to pray in the name of jesus whatever is out to to, to be too down that the lord will give them flat tire give them flat tire in their journey to to fulfillment flat tire are you praying in this nation whatever is out to torment the nation flat tire lord flat tire despite all the professionalism whatever is out to kick against the plan of yahweh flat tire most city glory to god Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. From now, every organized satanic agent, either the satanist, the witches, the wizard, using human beings as their camouflage to reach out to you, to suppress you, to make you look stupid, to make your effort never to show up. They are ready to fight you along with your God. The same God who fought for Ezekiah rises up this day and wreck all those evil boasting in Jesus' name. Are you saying a powerful amen? From now, let all their confidence turn into pieces thank you faithful father show us something we have never seen before as we read from the golden page of the bible in jesus perfected name we have prayed god bless you be seated consider god can you help me to announce that title to somebody who is by your side? Say it loud and clear. Huh. What a lovely message. Romans chapter 4. Fasting the best of your mind. You are in for a pleasant surprise. I will read from King James Version and the New King James Version. Praise God. Romans chapter 4 from verse 19. It says, now regular King James, and be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Meaning that unbelief makes you to be a staggered person. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to do what? To perform. Let me read from New King James Version. It says, And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully convinced 
that what he had promised, he was able to do what? To perform. Now, I'm sure you know who Elohim is. The most powerful God. And they have told you, your pastor, your preacher, your prophet, that God is also called El Aeon, the most high God. And he's also called El Shaddai, the breasted God, all sufficient God. And they have told you that he's the eternal God. Yes. But the aspect of considering God. I'm not sure of late, your pastor went into that line. Therefore, today, I have this information from the Lord. He said, consider God. And I pick up my Bible I was reading, and I discovered the word consider appears several times in the Bible, well over 60 times. He said, consider this, that this nation is your people. Exodus 33 verse 13. Now, what are things that people considered one, people consider the years of many generations. Deuteronomy 32 verse 7. They consider their latter end. People con they say, consider my trouble. Consider what? My trouble. Psalm 9 verse 13. Some people consider enemy. Psalm 25 verse 13. And then, you can also consider the testimony of God. Then you consider the work of God. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 13. The Bible also talks about neither consider things of old. Isaiah 43 verse 18. You can consider things of old. At other time, in New Testament it says consider the lilies of the field. How they grow. In Luke chapter 12 verse 24 it says consider the ravens. Then, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7, he said, consider what I say. Now, in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, he said, consider one another. To provoke one another unto love. But this message is saying, consider God. Consider who? God. And the Lord was coming in with powerful revelation. What does he mean? To consider. It means to know God. You must ascertain by your perception. Perceive into the workings of God. To know by observing and reflecting. By experiencing what you have been told. He says, consider God. To see God literally or figuratively in numerous applications. That's what it means. You, it says spy God. Do what? Do what? Spy God. Respect God. Perceive God. Regard God. Don't just stay by God and you are not learning from God. It says in there, foresee God. Proof of God. View God. Choose God. Deliberately. Others may choose what they want. Choose God. Do what? Choose God. Now in the New Testament it means to learn thoroughly. Learn about God thoroughly. Yes. To note carefully. To learn thoroughly through careful examination. It means to exercise your mind about God. Don't just see God and run away from God. So today, the man Abraham has come for our focus. He was not weak in faith. Sir, don't be weak in faith. He did not consider his own body or consider the number of years. He was only considering God. Yes, he did not start, scatter everything he has built through his negative statement. He was always giving glory to God. So today as you go to your office, remember that Abraham, like you, 
had many obstacles coming against the promise of God in his life. But God told him, you are going to be father of many what? Father of many what? Does that make sense for somebody who does not have any? But it makes a lot of spiritual super sense. He will only need to reorganize some things. After he reorganizes some things, you find yourself at the front. I decree from here today, as many of you are seeing God as being so late, you will now see God as a smart God. Yeah. Are you saying amen to that? Yeah. The Bible says he did not consider his own body, whatever the body of evidence you have, that is making you to doubt God. Look away from it. He has said you will be a, a superstar. Rise up on your feet and announce to God, I am one of your superstars. I'm not doubting you anymore. I now consider you, I think about you, I focus about you. My testimony comes out. Consider God in your choice of marriage, in turning around your children, in turning around your business, in turning around your ministry. Consider Elohim. Consider him. The Jehovah Shama is present with you. Announce nothing steal away your star anymore. Consider God's promise. Don't stagger across the promises of God through unbelief. Don't stagger. Tell God, I believe you. I will never fall. I will not fall. I will not. Yes, God, I will never fall. Because I know you never let me down. I will never fall. God has never failed before. He will not fail in my case. God has never failed before. He will not fail on my issue, on my situation. Intervene, Lord. And cut off every satanic intervention in my story. Lord, you have never failed before. I depend on you. Bring me out of every spiritual or physical bondage. Set me my feet on high ground and let your name be glorified because I'm considering you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Let's stretch forth our hand to, to our Father in the Lord that the Lord will set him on his throne. The Lord will set him on his ordained throne. The Lord will set the ministry on his ordained throne. Every prophecy that has gone forth on his life will come to fulfillment this year. It will not be delayed any longer. Yes. Every good prophecy upon him, upon this ministry. Yes, the Lord will make it to manifest this year. The Lord will give him testimonies that will share itself. Testimonies that cannot be hidden for his family, for members of this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. And as we go, we go in your name. We consider you in everything we do today. Father, glorify yourself in our life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's have our seats. Please be reminded. I'm bringing out our offering. Please be reminded. Sunday service. We are expecting you for Glorious Sunday. Friday. Some people forget. Don't let it be you. Some people forget Friday Bible study. Online, starting from 6 p.m. The geo will be expecting you. If you have not been receiving the Zoom link and you want, please drop your number to the ushers. They will link you up. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Let's begin our offering. We want to speak to your seed this morning. That the Lord will bring you out of every financial embarrassment. The Lord will make you a, 
a, a, a, a, a, a financier of this kingdom. The financier, he said, by your prosperity shall, the, by the, shall my house be built. God will make you a financier through prosperity that will come upon your life. Speak to your seat. Speak to your seat and say you never lack again. You never look unto anybody for anything but unto God because we consider God from today. Tell the Lord and the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name of prayer. Let's rise upon our feet as if share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God.